Hey guys, it's Mike Sorgat Sorgatron on the Twitter, Sorgatron.com. Please uh, check out the blog over there, the other videos, and please sign up for the newsletter to find out what else I'm working on here with Sorgatron Media Incorporated. Yes, we're incorporated. And I wanted to talk about an article. I, I was, I, I've been getting into Medium lately. Uh, which seems like the cool thing to do. Of course, I just get into Medium. I start reading it. I start posting stuff on it. And then they've changed our logo, and I absolutely hate it. But hey, I'm a, I'm not a designer. Uh, but uh, I, I, I've been finding some really interesting articles there that have been curated to me, and I really do like that process. I've been seeing a, a, a few eyeballs get on my stuff uh, that I've been posting on Medium. So I, I definitely recommend you guys looking into it. I've been hearing uh, Gary Vaynerchuk talking about Medium for months now and and i finally kind of dived into it a little bit but you know but uh at the, at the very least if you're blogging syndicate over there it's another reason for people to find you you're not really doing advertising yet right uh so and it also depends on what you're blogging and what your goal of blogging is to be if it's just to get in front of people then yeah you should syndicate over there and i can uh definitely recommend a plugin uh, for that as well. There's a nice little medium plugin that you get into WordPress. But that's not what this is about. It's not about medium. It's about quitting. And I know there's a lot of that discussion out there and around. There's a, a whole show dedicated to quitting. And it's not about smoking cessation. And neither is this. Uh, the uh, wonderful quit show by Be Dan Benjamin over at the 5x5 Network. I recommend that uh, definitely if you're looking for that motivation, if you think you want to quit your job and follow your passion, and I just gave him a plug to my small audience com in comparison to his. But uh, but no, the article was really kind of talked about the math of, of why we quit and, and, and why we shouldn't quit. And this is something that's been in. This is something I've been observing for a while, actually. Uh, you know, as with many of us, I, I read a lot of books on successful people, right? Successful people, whether it be in my case, a lot of times pro wrestlers or musicians or or comedians, right? And I and, and I'm very interested in those stories about how did they get to that point? How did they get to the point where they're successful or 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 hey, they're successful, but they still feel like they're not successful? Uh, as you know, if you listen to a lot of Chris Hardwick's Nerdist, you get a lot of that vibe too, right? But uh, I, I think it's really important to look at, you know. Uh, you know, a lot of people kind of like, oh, he's so lucky he did this. Hey, 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 this this guy's so talented. It must be so easy to to get to that point, right? Uh, for for those people, those people we see on TV, those people in those higher positions, and I think it's very important to note and for a lot of people to realize that it's not, and it's not just they had something that you didn't, as far as talent as far as opportunity uh, you know i'm a big believer in you you get out there and create opportunities you don't let things come to you i'm a big believer that it's not going to be easy to get what you want in the long run it's definitely not uh if you you know whatever level of success you want to get to um i think there's always going to be a dip right uh, how many times, you know, the pro wrestler story is, is kind of the best one. How does somebody become a John Cena? How does somebody become a Hulk Hogan? How does somebody become a, okay, Dwayne Johnson is probably not a good example, but most of them, they're starting, uh, by training in a, uh, a school like here in Pittsburgh, like a, 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 you know, in a, uh, in a, uh, uh, storage locker where uh, what do you call those uh a storage garage where they have a ring and it's cold in the winter time and you're setting up the ring and you're working shows where you don't get paid or you get 10 bucks a handshake and a hot dog and uh and and that's it and they and there's people that work through that and build through that and and work past that adversity get good at their craft and finally get noticed after sometimes 15 years, as in the case of a recent uh, guy killing it in WWE of, uh, of, of Kevin Owens, right? And I think that, that counts for a lot of people that want to do more than just follow the corporate structure and follow their passion, create their own startup, create their own company. Uh, it, you know, I think a lot of times, uh, you know, much like, much like how an addict has to hit rock bottom to realize how good he has it, I think that 
at a certain point, the creators and, and motivated people have to hit rock bottom to kind of assess what's important. And that's when they find, do find their success. Um, the funny part is, to that person, they may never find it, no matter how it looks on the outside. And I think that's what separates that's what separates the men from the boys the women from the from the girls or i guess we're going to keep it on both sides here uh, keep it fair keep it fair uh but i think most people just fall off and as this article was suggesting i really hope i find it so i can put it in the notes to this uh by the time I'm, i get this up uh, you know I, I i you know you have to get past that point uh, people just drop off people people quit the, there was some some points in there. People quit because they ran out of money. They ran out of time. They ran out of this. This didn't happen, and they they slide past it and just just give up and go back to the day job. There's something else, you know, what, whatever whatever that 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 point of not continuing that project, passion, whatever may represent. And uh, and 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 I think if you're when you sit down and say, I'm going to do this thing, I'm going to be X, I'm going to be a famous person, I'm going to be this, you have to sit down and realize it's not going to be easy. There's going to be a part in it that really sucks. Uh, you're going to have to put in a lot of time and a lot of late nights, typically. You're going to have to do stand up in front of 10 people and, and you get heckled off stage before you learn how to deal with that or not let that happen or find better venues or be good enough to be in better venues or or or, or how many uh, wrestling matches in, set in front of 20 people you have that you drove six hours for before you're in front of 10,000 in Barclay Center. You know, I mean, it's it that's that's the nature of it. And. It's about how much, you know, again, I'm quoting this other show, how much grit you have, you know, how much determination uh, I've mentioned on here. Uh, you know, maybe this is a long tail. Some people work their entire lives for 20 years. A guy like John Hodgman, I don't think he got famous, famous until he was in his 40s. And there's a lot of guys like that, you know, that, that live in relative obscurity. And then there's like... I figured it out in my 40s, and I'm good to go from here on. Some people do that. We're not all child prodigies uh, like these people in uh, Silicon Valley that, that we see all the time, right? Uh, and I think that's okay. And I think that's also really interesting because it doesn't matter what, how, what age you are. I'm talking to a guy the other night, and he was uh, at the Drawn in Pittsburgh event in Tunesium. And uh, he definitely, I mean, he had, he had a stew. Like, he self-admittedly had a few screws loose, uh, but still... His his pointing himself down of I you know I I just I just had always done this art stuff and and it's not you know I feel like the outsider here but but it was just funny because it's like it's a group of outsiders because they're cartoonists to begin with right uh, being recognized as a Pittsburgh cartoonist and he's just like he's like I'm too old for this but I yeah I'm I'm I'm, old, I'm too old to get something going but I just kind of want to get my stuff out there and I don't think he. I don't think he realizes it's not too old to any to do anything like that, especially in this day and age. Uh, his stuff could get out there fairly easily, and and if the right person sees it, then that takes off. So, also we have the discussion about low numbers. We could we could we could do that too. <laughs> also, and and what could circumvent this whole thing if the right person looks at your thing, but. Uh, I don't know. I, I hope that helps you guys a little bit. If uh, you're 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 kind of fighting to do something, uh, to to make something great out there, to create online, to create otherwise, to, just to create, I think is a really good thing. If you have the bug to do that, to to let that happen, and kind of decide, you decide where you want want to take it. Um, I've decided hell or high water, like this is something I'm doing. For instance, uh, I've decided I'm going to do Tuesday night podcasting, no matter how tired and and in very few cases, you know how sick I am. This is going to happen. It's going to get out. You guys are going to get it into your ear holes, and that is the thing that has uh, opened up a lot of opportunity for me. And then it's my execution on those opportunities that have uh, done something from there. And 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 we still see peaks and valleys, and the valleys get pretty low. But you're going to keep fighting through it until 
you come back the other side and it's going to be good again. So let me know your thoughts at Sorgatron on the Twitter. As I said, please go over to Sorgatron.com, sign up for our newsletter. I'm going. To, I'm trying to share a little bit more of what we're doing around here. Uh, if you're on the newsletter, you got an email about Sawtooth Willie, our good friend here in the Pittsburgh Underground, and uh, what's been going on there. It's been he's been dressing up lately. It's been getting really kind of weird and amazing at the at the at the uh, same time. So go check that out, please. And we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.